everyone, Uncle Just here. I do a lot of 3D printing and I end up with a lot of leftover resin. So today, I wanna print something really big with all that leftover resin across five different 3D printers, including one new mystery printer. So as I mentioned, I end up with a lot of leftover resins from all of the different projects that I run, and usually I try to consolidate those as best I can. However, what ends up happening is I end up with a whole bunch of bottles sitting on the shelf with half empty or near empty bottles of resin. So I decided to consolidate a bunch of the gray and beige resins together and run off and do a bunch of prints across five different machines. On the Elgu Jupiter, the Elgu Mars, the Elgu Saturn S, a new mystery printer, and the Elgu Neptune 2S. Yes, I know that's not a resin 3D printer, but I had some bigger base pieces for this statue that I was printing that I just didn't want to waste all the resin on. So before we take a look at the prints that I've gotten off of all of the machines and then get everything assembled, let me tell you about the file that we're going to be printing. I wanted something that was going to be epic and awesome looking to show off here in the new studio. So I went to one of the Patreons that I've been a part of for quite a while now called the Creative Geek who designed some epic looking comic book inspired statues and this one is from Onslaught from the 90s era of X-Men which was probably my favorite and if you're not familiar with who Onslaught is clearly you weren't reading Marvel Comics back in the 90s he was the big baddie that everyone was fighting against at one point in time basically is the combination of Professor X and Magneto after Magneto ripped out all the adamantium from Wolverine's bones uh, it's something along those lines. I'm trying to remember. It's been such a long time since I read those comics. And the original statue size from the Creative Geek is absolutely huge. So I scaled it down by 63% scale, which should equal about one sixth scale for the statue, which is about 12 to 13 inches for the actual body of the character. And then the base, once all of that's printed and the base is enormous and I'm not going to be printing all of the base files in today's video. I'm going to be just printing off a core section of it there, but with the added base, once everything's fully printed, I believe the statue will be about 20 inches tall. So I brought all of the files into Chitu box, got everything hollowed, added holes and supported, and then individually placed across all of the different printers and ready for printing. Now, originally I tried printing off a whole bunch of the files here on the Elgu Jupiter, but was running into print failures and I could not figure out what it was. And then I realized, oh yeah, I'm printing with some really old resin that has been sitting in my closet on a shelf for like two plus years. So I'm assuming some of the resin just was not good. So as soon as I swapped out some of the resin for the beige resin that is a little bit newer, it printed so much better here on the Jupiter. I then printed a handful of the body files here on the Elgu Saturn S, which is their 4K latest iteration of the Elgu Saturn, and the prints look incredible. I then printed a few of the accessory pieces that are going to go on the base of the statue here on the Elgu Mars 3, which is again their 4K smaller 3D printer, and it's easily my favorite out of all of the Elgu machines. It's just the one that I use the most. It's getting a little crowded here on the table, but I also printed two of the base parts here on the Elgu Neptune 2S. Yes, I know it's not a resin 3D printer, but again, I didn't want to waste all of the resin and I wanted the base to be a little bit more solid than the other resin chunks. I also modified this base file in Mesh Mixer so that it would sit flat on a table so that I could use this as just a smaller stand for the statue. I'm still going to try and print all of the base files for the statue. However, because of the size of them, them, more than likely I'm gonna have to print most of them here on the Elgu Jupiter. Now, I said there was a fifth mystery printer that I used for this project, so let's bust it on out. That's right, I'm talking about the Elgu Saturn II. This is an 8K resolution new resin 3D printer from the folks over at Elgu. Now, I'll have a full detailed breakdown of this new machine next Tuesday when the official announcement rolls out for this machine, but I figured I'd give you a little bit of a preview of the machine and what it can print here in today's video, and the prints look fantastic off of this machine and a bigger build volume than the Elgu Saturn and the Elgu Saturn S. Let me get some of these printers off my table so that I can actually get the prints cleaned up so that we can get it assembled. I did also want to take a moment to say a big thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. As you've seen in this video, Elgu makes some amazing resin 3D printers that you can use for a variety of different projects, ranging from smaller printers to mid-size to the large 3D printers, and even on the FDM side of things with their Elgu Neptune series of 3D printers. 
If you're interested in more information about any of Elgoo's products that I've shown off in today's video, you can find links to those down below. All right, so we've got all of the parts cleaned up, supports removed, and it's time to get this assembled. And here's the results of our onslaught statue that we 3D printed on the Elgu Jupiter, the Elgu Mars 3, the Elgu Saturn S, the Elgu Saturn 2, and the Elgu Neptune 2S. This thing is so large, and I'm so happy with the results that I've gotten so far. There are a few issues that I'm gonna have to go back and try and correct or either reprint. Uh, the first of which are the bolts there that go on the front and the back of the character itself. I put holes all the way through, not realizing that they were gonna be shown on the outside. So I need to reprint those. Also these pauldrons on the top, I think I'm gonna have to use a heat gun to reshape them slightly so that it will more accurately fit onto the back portion of the cape or whatever that shell like surface is on the back of the character. But the base turned out great. The details on this look fantastic. And I'm so happy that I attempted this with a whole bunch of that leftover resin. And if I bust out a ruler here, let's see how tall the statue is. It is just about 16 inches tall with the modified shorter base. And if I printed the larger base, I'm sure this thing would have been pushing 20 inches tall. I still need to print those larger orbs that this is gonna sit on top of, but for now, this looks incredible. I also just used a little bit of super glue to hold some of the joints and parts in place. I didn't want a permanent weld between those because I do wanna go through the process of painting each of the body parts. So I should hopefully be able to break those free since I only put a small dab of super glue just so that I could get it assembled here to show you all today. I also wanted to say a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in my resin 3D printer settings or support settings that I use for my 3D printers, you can find those over in my Patreon. Now let me know what you thought about this project of reusing a whole bunch of that old resin. I still have a lot more leftover resin that I just, I think I'm gonna just end up mixing together a ton of different colors and making just some hodgepodge and seeing what I can actually print with that in the future. But if you're interested in more information on any of the Elgu printers that I showed in today's video, you'll find links to those down below. And a special note on the Elgu Saturn 2, make sure to come back on Tuesday of next week because I'll be showing off a full on video video on the Saturn 2 and you might hear some more info on how you can win one for yourself. I will be making a follow-up video here actually finishing the statue, going through the process of sanding it and getting it all painted so I can get it up on display. When that will happen, I don't know, in the next few weeks, months, hopefully not years. <laughs> I don't exactly have a solid track record of finishing a lot of the projects that I start, but I'm so happy that I at least started this one here on all of these machines. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye now.